Hello and welcome to a new video lesson in Notebook. Now children, we are already aware of the importance of water and how we should always save water. This chapter explains the availability of water in the different states of India. We come to Andhra Pradesh where we see that the availability of clean water is so scarce that people are offering cold drinks instead of water to the guests. Andhra Pradesh is one such state of India which faces severe water crisis, especially during the summer months. This fact gets obvious when Suguna's Appa tells a guest that they do not have any supply of clean water at home. However, when we move to another state, such as Maharashtra, the scene is entirely different. Here, people have water parks. Water parks are amusement parks where there are rides with water. We see Rohan and Reena with their parents going to a water park at Bazar Gaon in Maharashtra. The children are found to be playing in the water slides and the water pools. But the entire trip didn't remain the same. We see that soon a commotion started where people from a nearby village came with buckets and bottles. Rohan's mother found out that they don't have any drinking water in their village and that they get water only two times a week. The two instances that we saw of Suguna from Andhra Pradesh and Rohan from Maharashtra brings out two entirely different scenarios. But there is one connecting link, water. The situation of the women who started the commotion at the water park seemed similar to that of Suguna, where Rohan and his family have the luxury to play in the water, there are families who couldn't even get drinking water. We move on to find out about another instance from Mumbai. Deepak accompanies his mother to Razia Ma'am's house where she works. Razia comes across the news that somehow the drinking water has mixed with water from the gutter. As a result, people all over the town are falling sick. Razia asks Deepak's mother to boil water for drinking purpose. She even tells her to take some of the boiled water to her home. Deepak is happy to hear Razia ma'am. Now he need not stand in the queue for water. Now students, since Razia reads the news, she is aware of this incident and is taking necessary steps for it, like boiling her drinking water. Boiling purifies the water and makes it suitable for drinking. But Deepak and his mother collect water from the municipality taps and would have fallen sick because of the gutter water if Razia didn't help them out. Isn't this very, very dangerous, students? We all know that water is one of the most important factors for living and it is impossible to survive without clean water. Thus, we should always be careful to never waste water. In this chapter, we also come across an incident where people like you solve the problem of water scarcity. The children of Bhima Sangh of the Holgundi Panchayat of Karnataka solved the water scarcity problem of their village. The solution to their problem was very simple. They just needed to restore the environment that has been ruined by cutting off trees and not taking care of the tank that provided them with the water. We find out how their problem was solved permanently by simply taking care of the nature and environment. They cleaned the tanks and planted trees all around to restore the greenery. The water problems were solved eventually. So we should understand the importance of the role of nature in our lives. It's true that natural water is not equally available across the different states of India. States like Rajasthan or Punjab get very less rainfall, whereas states like Meghalaya, Kerala receive very high rainfall. But in whichever state we reside, we should always use water judiciously. Remember that many people face severe hardships for water. Also, preserve nature so that the ecological balance 
does not get disturbed with this we come to the end of this video lesson for more such videos keep watching notebook